Conformal mapping and the Zhukowski airfoil. In mathematics, a conformal map is a function that locally preserves angles, but not necessarily lengths, meaning that although the shapes of minutely small figures are preserved, the image may have a new size and or curvature. The Zhukowski map, w equals z plus 1 over z, is a well-known example of a conformal function. This map was first used by Russian hydrodynamics researcher Nikolai Zhukovsky in his studies of flow around aeroplane wings in 1910. In aerodynamics, the transform was used to solve for the two-dimensional potential flow around a class of airfoils known as the Zhukovsky airfoils. This information was then used to develop and understand three-dimensional airfoils and their lift. A Zhukowski airfoil is generated in the complex plane W by applying the Zhukowski map to a circle in the complex plane Z. The centre coordinates are variables. Varying them results in a modified airfoil shape. Nikolai Zhukowski stated that to obtain a suitable airfoil, the object circle should enclose the point Z equals minus 1 and intersect the point Z equals 1. Since dw by dz, which is 1 minus 1 over z squared, will equal 0 if and only if z equals plus or minus 1, the function is conformal, except at the point z equals plus or minus 1, or at 0 where the function is undefined. Therefore, the criteria can still be met for any circle centre point by varying the circle's radius. Zhukowski airfoils have a cusp at their trailing edge. A closely related mapping, the Kármán Tress transformation, generates a much broader class of airfoils by controlling the trailing edge's angle. I chose to look into the Joukowsky airfoils instead, as this was the original mapping. To find the general Joukowsky transformation, we must first let z equals u plus iv. If you would like to work through this yourself, pause the video now and play the video again when you want to check your workings. Otherwise, continue watching and we'll work through this together. So, once you have substituted u plus iv in the place of z, you will have u plus iv plus 1 over u plus iv. You must then realise the denominator. This means to multiply the numerator and denominator of the complex fraction by the denominator's complex conjugate, as shown on screen. The next step is to group the real and imaginary parts and then simplify both parts. I find it easiest to simplify imaginary parts first and then the real parts. The end result, real and imaginary, are shown in orange on the screen. The link on the screen is for a site which allows you to manipulate the radius and center point of an object circle. This allows you to explore the Zhukowski airfoils. The two images on the screen are of manipulations I have done. The object circles both have a centre point of 0.1 plus 0.3i, but they have seemingly minutely different radii. These manipulations interest me because they both resemble a standard airfoil, but one would be better in practice than the other. Do you know which it is? If not, I urge you to do some research. Doing different transformations allowed me to further understand the mapping and explore the range of Zhukowski airfoils. Thank you for listening to my presentation.